Coach Schroeder was talking the other day about really respecting their play action game. Just kind of what are the basic keys for in your position for when you know a team can rely on that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they do a lot of things well. We just got to keep our eyes right, really. Um, eye discipline is a big thing for us this game. Um, and then, you know, just, just improving from week one to week two is really, really all it is. How do you feel like you played last week, particularly in coverage? Because they didn't test you very much, and you didn't get to record a stat because of that. So just how do you feel like you ended up playing? Yeah, um, I noticed that, you know, going back and watching the film, it felt like there wasn't a lot of action um, going on. But um, as far as my job, you know, I, I, I did what I needed to do, did well in coverage because, um, you know, I didn't get tested a lot, which I'll take as a compliment, you know, as a, as a DB. So, um, you know, just looking to improve, you know, make the plays that come my way this week. What's it like having a brother on, on the opposing team and good seeing him probably in person more than you would normally? Yeah, oh, that was so cool. Um, once a lifetime experience, you know, getting to see that and the family getting to see it and everybody, you know, being there. That was super awesome. He had a great game. Um, so that was super cool to see. Very proud of him. So like now that Jamal's back, I mean, obviously he's back last week too, but back and able to play on the weekend and yeah. just what's that competition dynamic like now with two of you oh it's just I mean both I love when he's you know he's available and ready to go because it pushes me to be as, as good as I can I'm pushing him to be as um, you know as good as he can um, and you know at this point it's not competing for a spot anymore um, we're you know we're gonna share time um, regardless and so you know it's, it's at this point it's just preparing ourselves both of us to, to be at our best um, come Saturday in a timeshare, is that going to be situational where maybe you fit certain situations better, or is that just going to be a, a, a rep split, or do you know? Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, you know, that's up to coach. Um, you know, our job is really to just yeah, go go out there and, and do our best and make you know you know uh, take care of our business and, and let the coaches handle you know who's who's playing and when to when to sub and not. Uh, the guy that does so well and prides himself particularly against the run. What do you see from this running back core? Where I mean, on tape last week, none of them had a lot of carries, but. One has over 100 yards and like nine carries. Yeah, they feel like their best running back might be the freshman who got in very late. Right, and obviously Teague has a lot to his credit. So yeah, they they uh, they had a lot of big plays last week. We saw um, some big guys, big running backs, um, a little different than you know what we saw last week. But so it's going to emphasize our, our tackling um, and and really just making sure we wrap up, get all 11 guys to the ball. Um, but you know, I mean, it's just a, it's a, it's another team, um, another you know running back core that we feel like we can, if we do our things and and do what we're supposed to do, then then we can handle it and should be all right. You guys played some great tight ends in this conference. Ruckert is right up there nationally from them. Does he compare to anybody? The UCLA's guys, Stanford's guys. You guys played even last year. Yeah, he's really solid. He's a, a solid tight end. Doesn't make a lot of mistakes, which we we notice. Um, you know, I, I, I hate to compare people um, and, and, you know, I, I look at whether they're making, you know, making the right plays, whether they're, you know, making mistakes that we can capitalize on. Um, but other than that, we, you know, we notice he's, he's a good tight end. We're going to have to, to be smart with, with our eyes, like I said earlier, um, and eye discipline. So, uh, yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a good tight end. They got a lot of good, good players, um, but we, we feel like we have a lot of good players too. So we just, you know, it's about matchups and, and winning our one-on-ones. Big matchup for you guys with uh, some of the most talented wide receivers uh, in the country. What's the secondary going to have to do to, to try to slow them down? Player game, and and like I said, I discipline again. Um, you know, it's no, we don't have to you know put on a, a Superman suit for this game. Um, you know, we just have to play our game and, and do what we're supposed to do, take care of business. Um, and if all eleven guys are doing their job, you know, it's not just the secondary. Um, you know, it's it's up front guys getting pressure, so you know. We don't have to sit in coverage all day. Um, so really, it's it's about just doing our job and, and reading our keys, keeping our eyes right, and we should be we should be all right. What was Coach Yates saying as far as feedback-wise from the Fresno State game, what he saw from you guys? Yeah, um, obviously a lot of stuff to clean up. Um, you know, didn't didn't give up many play, big plays, which is which is a positive. Um, but there's a lot of you know dink and dunk stuff that we we can clean up, and and some zone you know zone coverage stuff that that we need to work on. Um, yeah, that's it. That's about it for that one. Do you relish? Do you relish the opportunity going to a hostile environment like this? And, and how big is that? Because of how loud it's going to be from a communication perspective for you guys defensively. Yeah. So we, I, I thought I was thinking about this earlier. It's actually going to be probably quieter for us when we're when defense is on the field. Um, just as a, you know, they're they're trying to distract our offense, and then when their offense on the field, they're trying to keep them, you know, keep it quiet. Um, but it's just just another game, man. Really, um, you know, it, it might feel a little, you know, bigger because it's Ohio State. But 
to us, we're, we're approaching it like, like it's another game. So, Did you have a chance to play in Columbus while you were at Illinois? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I played there my freshman year, um, ninth, tenth game of the season, I believe. We weren't quite as uh, as talented as, yeah. as this team, you know. Um, but but, it was, you, but it was, funny is you're one of the few guys on this team who's been in 110,000 seasons. Yeah, so. yes, yes. Um, so I, I will have that experience, you know, going into it, um, which I think, you know, I, I can – bring in as a as a uh, you know a leadership kind of role and and help the guys you know you know get through get through that whatever daunting it, it may be the illabuck attitude a little bit yeah yeah exactly <laughs> you playing the big 10 though I mean, you, you understand maybe what ohio state means in that part of the country better than than others this is a, a big program do you kind of communicate some of that or talk about it you know? um i mean honestly we let the we let the the you know the media really handle all that um you know hyping the game up for us like i said it's 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 another game um and that's how we got to treat it you know the more we we try and put emphasis on it i think it'll you know just it, it will get us off of our game and psych people out so we, we we're playing you know preparing like it's another game we know the talent that they have um and we just have to, to match up against it in terms of wilson in particular i know he's moved to the x now but he had been in the slot and he's certainly capable of it Match, if you get matched up with him at various points in particular, just what does he pose by way of uh, challenges of receiver? Yeah, um, you know, him and, and Olave and, um, you know, Eleven that they, they have, they, they move all those guys around. Um, and, you know, personally, I'm, I'm studying each one as, a, you know, what their tendencies are um, so that I, you know, guard them maybe a little differently, giving them a different look. Um, but at the end of the day, it's it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And uh, you gotta you got to win it, you know. You can do as much as much film study as you want, but if you get out there and you're not, you know, uh, locked in on your keys and eye discipline, then it's not gonna it's not gonna work out for you. So.